In this tutorial, we're going to talk about HATOS. We need to be able to send links to resources in the responses. If you remember the tutorial in Unit 1, that's what HATOS is all about, right? We want to be able to make the response navigable. For example, if you get a list of messages, each message in that list would probably have a link to the message itself, right? You get the resource URL for the message in the response of the message. You could also have resource URL for the comments of the message in the response of the message. So once the user gets hold of a response, they know all the things that they could do, right? So they could go to different resources. They could go to like, for example, the author who posted the message or a whole lot of stuff like that. And it's all there in the response. That's what we want to do. I'm not going to go into the details of having each and every URL and each and every response. That's going to take a lot of time. But I'm going to show you how to include these resource links in your responses. So if you look at the message resource that's returned in the response, it contains all the properties of the message itself. But the objective now is to add links that provide the client information about where to find other related resources. So one link could be the link to itself, which is the self rel attribute. There is another link, for example, the profile, right? So there could be a link to the profile uh, URI, the resource URI, for the author of this message. There could also be a link for the comments for this message, the likes and the shares for this message and all that. So these are additional links that we would like to send in the response. So right now, we don't have any links. We want to add to it. So the links could be something like this, right? So let's let's set this as a goal for this tutorial. We want to be able to send these links in the response. Now, how do we do this? The obvious way is to enhance the model that gets converted to JSON. So let me switch back to the model in Eclipse. So this is what's getting converted to JSON, right? So this is what's re resulting in the JSON response that we just saw. So what we need now is a list of links to be added to this. So what I could do is create a new class, a new model called link, and then have a list of those links in the message instance. So I can create a new class called link. And all that this class needs is the URL, which is the link, and then the rel attribute, which is what the relation is. If you remember unit one, the relation could be something like self for the link to itself, or it could be profile, comments, or whatever. And then I have getters and sitters for each of them. I don't need to annotate XML root element because this is not gonna be a root element. It's gonna be a member attribute of the message class, okay? So this is a very simple, straightforward class, which is gonna store the link information that we need to send back. Now, in my message class, I could have this list of links. So I'm going to import list and array list. And of course, I'm going to have getters and setters for the link. OK, so now what I need to do is in my resource class, when I'm getting the message, I'm going to look at uh, getting the single message now. Uh, this is the similar implementation for getting a list of messages as well. When I'm preparing this message instance, what I can do is I can set the links for whatever resources I want, right? I create new instances of the link class and then I add it to this array list. Once I do this, it's going to show up in the response over here. So now that this is set up, now comes the actual challenge. How do you figure out what these links are? So you need to go to the message resource over here. Now I'm going to take this into a local variable called message. And now I need to set, I need to add these different links based on the resource URLs that I want to provide. Now, how do I figure out what those links are? Let's start with the link to self. It's a standard in HATOS. Every resource is going to have a link to itself. It's not very important for this API because they need to know the link to the to the actual resource 
to be able to access this in the first place. But let's say you're you're making a call to get messages and you're getting a list of messages. So for every message resource, it helps to have a link to that resource so that the client can get more details of that particular resource. So I'm not gonna to touch this API, I'm just gonna modify get message. So the first link that I'm gonna add is a link to the resource itself. So if I switch back to the end goal of this tutorial, you see this self attribute. So this is the self link that we're gonna focus on first. In order to be able to add these links, I'm gonna create a convenience method in the message resource, which is called add link. So what this does is it takes in two arguments. One is the URL and one is the rel attribute and it creates a new instance of link, sets those two attributes and then adds it to the list of links. So it makes it easy to add multiple links. So I'm gonna use this when I add links here. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna do a message dot add link. I need to get the URL for the link to itself and I'm gonna call this self, right? Now the challenge is in finding this URL. How do I get this? The way to get the URL to itself should be pretty straightforward. We've already done this. The way we do this is we use the context. We use a class called URI info and we expect JaxRS to send us an object called URI info, which gives information about the URI. We've already done this for the create header. So we're gonna do something similar. I'm gonna create a new uh, argument called URI info and annotate it with that context so that I have this ready. Now I can get the current URL from URI info. So we've already seen that URI info gives us a handle to the URI builder and the URI builder has several methods that let us build the URI. One of them being the path method which lets you specify any arbitrary string that you wanna to add to the path, right? So you wanna add dot path of blah, it's gonna do a slash blah slash in the URI that it's gonna build, right? What we're gonna use is another overloaded path method which actually accepts the resource class as an argument, right? So you, you can do a dot path and pass in as argument any resource class. What this is gonna do is it's gonna find the path annotation to this resource, which is annotated at the class level. And it's gonna add that to the URI that it's building. For example, if I do a dot path of message resource dot class, it's gonna find the add path annotation for message resource dot class, which is annotated at the class level, the value is slash messages. So it's gonna add slash messages to the path. If I do a dot path of profile resource dot class, it's gonna add slash profiles. So this is very, very handy when you're implementing HATOS. It lets us find URIs for different resources easily without having to hard code the URI and that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so let's use this to build the API now. Now I get the URI info instance, and then I do a URI info that get base URI builder to get a URI builder with the base path. And I add a path segment to message resource dot class. It's gonna give me the path that the message resource is mapped to at the class level. And then I append to it a path segment, which is the ID of the new message. And then I do a dot build. Now this dot build is gonna give me a URI, but what I need is a string. So I'm gonna do a dot to string, right? And I'm gonna assign this to a new local variable called URI. And that's what I send over here. Now this URI is gonna be a string which contains the complete URI to the get message API. Now I add this to the message.add link. So it's gonna create a new link instance and assign it to the list of links in the message. And now I can return the message. All right, now let's test this and see if it works. Okay, I'm gonna make a get request to messages slash one, and there you go, looks like it's worked. So there is a links attribute, which has a value as a list, because it's an array list in Java, and then each element of that list is the link model that we've created. It contains one attribute called the link, which is the dynamically constructed URL that we just did, and then the rel is self. So this is 
a HATOS link which contains a link to itself. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to Eclipse and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and refactor it as a separate method, right? I'm gonna extract method and I'm gonna call this get URI for self so that um, that logic goes into a separate method and this, this method is a bit cleaner. Okay, and what I wanna do next is create a link for the profile. 